2019 All City Swim Meets is in the books, and we continue our recap by getting a coach's perspective right now. It's Nick Nager, the head coach of the Goodman Waves, is joining us right now. And Nick, thank you so much for being here. Thank and you for having yeah, me. Yeah, you bet. And so uh, let's let's talk about the Goodman Waves, okay? For people that aren't familiar with you, if they had to hear three words from you to describe the Goodman Waves, what? How do you describe? Them? Well, when I think about the Goodman Waves. Three words that come to mind are diversity, community, and success. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what do you think makes the Goodman Waves so special? What, what sets you apart? Well, the Goodman Waves uh, are the newest team of the All-City League, and we feel special because our mission as a team is to provide an affordable, accessible, and successful swim program to residents of Madison and the surrounding areas. So how does that feel to be the newest team? Because, you know, I've talked to a lot of people already here today. They're talking about family traditions that go back to their grandfathers yeah. and all of this. So, I mean, this has been like ingrained in the city for a while. How does it feel to be the new kid on the block? <laughs> well, we're really proud. We're really honored to be part of this really old Madison swimming tradition. Um, being part of the All City League for the past 13 years that the waves have been around, it's really offered our swimmers a chance to see the sport on a whole new level. Uh, we have a lot of swimmers who uh, come from parts of the city who that there might not be a pool around them. And so we encourage them to come join the waves. And through the waves, they experience all city. They experience 2,100 kids <laughs> all swimming at once. Crazy. And it encourages them to elevate their um, level of sport to the next next phase and we're really proud to be a part of it. Such a huge amateur event and I mean such great stuff. So okay, you guys have been around then for just a little while. What have you learned uh, during this time? Mm -hmm. How have you grown in, in that amount of time? Oh, we've learned a lot. We've learned that eight, th eight o'clock meet start means eight o'clock meet start. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also seen a lot of numerical growth on our team. Uh, we ha Each year we see about 15% increase, which is really exciting because that means that the word's getting out about us uh, more people around Madison, and we even have swimmers as far as Minnesota come to join the waves, and it makes us feel special to uh, have the All City kind of behind us as we as we grow and become part of the league. Okay, so um, everyone's got their kind of traditions that they do. Mm -hmm. um, rumor has it that the waves cheer is up for debate. <laughs> uh, what is up with that? Can you weigh in on that one? Well. I can't provide any too too much inside detail, but the Waves cheer has been around since the team was formed. Someone wrote it on the it said wrote it on the back of a kickboard with a dry erase marker because they were bored at practice and stuck around ever since. And uh, we're still waiting for input from the team. So if there's any Wave swimmers out there who think they have the creative spirit, we always encourage them. To All weigh right. in on that. It is out on our airwaves now. There is the challenge to get the input in on mm -hmm. that. Hey, so uh, Nick, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Good luck in the future. Thank you so much.